Hello peoples. In this video, I want to take a moment to look at converting an annual growth rate to a monthly growth rate. I thought it would be a worthwhile exercise because what I see all too frequently in financial models is the annual growth rate represented by X percent divided by 12, or the number of months. And that's just not how it works. To look at the proper calculation, let's assume you want an annual growth rate of 5%. In an Excel workbook, this is achieved by taking the prior year's value and multiplying by 1 plus your growth rate of 5%. So over the course of a year, regardless of the number of periods involved, we want the value at the beginning of the period to be 1.05 times as large by the conclusion of that year. The best way I've heard this explained is to look for the value that multiplied by itself 12 times is equal to 1 plus your growth rate. This can of course be simplified by raising x to the 12th power, which then allows us to solve for x by raising both sides to a fraction of 1 over the number of months, which gets us x but not the growth rate. Remember we added a value of 1. So to arrive at the monthly growth rate for each period, we subtract 1. And next let's quickly explore what that looks like in Excel. And here we've expanded the selection at the top, and in cell H8, you can see the formula we just reviewed. And if you look at each period, the value is growing by the balance in the prior year times 1 plus the growth rate we just calculated. And if we look at the conclusion of the year, our values projected on both an annual and monthly basis match. And so that you can see how this doesn't work, if you take the growth rate and divide by the number of months, here 5% divided by 12, you'll note that in the final period, the value is 1.0512, which we've linked back to cell E13 to demonstrate that the growth rate does not match 5%. All right, guys, that's it for now. Hope it was helpful.